guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i decided i would review the pack spotlight concealer for you all i am going to give you all a complete six to five to six hour wear test on this concealer and a complete review of everything diving right into this video i have the concealer right here with me this is what the concealer looks like this is the pack spotlight concealer i got the shade 10 number 10 mocha for myself now i feel like it is definitely a tad bit more yellow and a tad bit lighter than what I would prefer. Uh, that complete review will be as we progress in the video. The packaging is this carton packaging and when uh, it retails for 765 rupees, I got this on Amazon. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon. I will leave the link uh, in the description section. Uh, this is what the concealer looks like. It's very beautiful. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is the pack spotlight concealer. It has a frosted glass packaging i think it's plastic it just has a frosted finish and a plastic cap as usual what i loved about this concealer mostly is the applicator of this this is like a giant doe foot applicator trying to mimic the tart shape tape applicator which i really like this is the first time i use something with such a big doe foot applicator so the whole hype for this concealer was mainly because it comes in 15 shades uh, i will leave the swatches of all the shades right here for y'all i think 15 shades is really good for an indian company because uh, in india people are not very very color friendly they don't do like makeup companies don't do that many shades that's why people tend to buy international makeup products but i think pack is one such brand which has all always uh, seen to it that they do colors for everyone uh, the undertones are really off like there, there's a big jump in the shade like it goes light 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 and then a big jump to two dark shades so that's a little irritating because not everyone can find their shade you'll have to mix and match and then powder and bronze and that's what I feel was the case even with me I had to like bronze and everything to get this shade to match to my skin tone uh, even then I feel it's like a tad bit too yellow and a tad bit lighter than what I would prefer in my concealer. Now where the price is considered, if this concealer performs well, I think 765 is a decent price because you're getting quite a lot of product. Let me check how much you get. 0.19 oz and 5.5 uh, grams of this concealer which I think is fair enough for the price. Uh, if it performs well that is, otherwise my LA goal is like 550 bucks so that's going to be a try it through as always. But let's see how this performs. Okay, so let's get started real quick. Like I said, I'm using this shade of Mocha, which is the number 10. It has a really huge doe foot applicator, which I'm really liking at the moment. I've never given this a shot, so let's see. I'm not going to put too much at first. Oh, that is like full coverage. I think it's a little lighter than what I would like. So I'm not going to go more than this. I don't know even if this is too much. I'm going to put it in the usual area that I like to conceal. Love the feel of the this, it's so creamy, so buttery and it's gliding on so well and I love this huge row foot applicator. I'm gonna start blending this in. I'm not taking it over the eyelid because I'm not trying to apply any eyeshadow to this, so I want the eyelid bare. Blends really easy. It's blending really well. It is definitely much, much, much lighter than what I would like. It's very yellow, so I should have used very little because a little goes a really, really long way with this concealer. It's full coverage, like you can tell there's no darkness visible, no grayness. Uh, it's cancelling out everything very well, covering everything very well. So it would be great to like put this on my scars over here. I think once I powder my face, it should be fine. It's, I can say, a tone lighter than um, my LA Girl concealer, but because it's so full coverage, oh my god, just look at this, it's so full coverage. It's very creamy, very easy to blend, not creasing as of now. I am using the Pack HD foundation for anyone who's wondering. The shades lighter and darker than this, the darker one was way too dark, and the lighter one was having a pink undertone to it which I don't really prefer because I am very very yellow uh, so I don't prefer pink undertones in anything not my foundation not my concealer so I think so far I'm happy with the blend of this I'm just going to add everything in and uh, powder this face and let's see how it goes 
So like you can tell there is no creasing whatsoever. All of the darkness, all of the grayness, everything is cancelled out perfectly. I barely have any dark circles as such but I have some darkness going on underneath my eyes after my exams and everything so it has cancelled very well. The yellow undertone is working perfectly. It is definitely very very yellow for me like I already said a hundred times and very full coverage so you need to go like very little with very little product I definitely went too ham with the product and now I'm like looking two different shades but I'm gonna powder my face bronze it really well and then let's see how it goes I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and set this in place giving this concealer a fair shot taking a little bit on my Real Technique sponge I am gonna bake because that's what I've been doing Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera, not bore you with all of that and be right. So this is what my finished look looks like. I'm going to try to mention everything that I'm using on my face right now in the description section. For now, I've not put any uh, concealer on my eyelids. I've not put any eyeshadow. For now, I'm going to give you like a closer look. There is very mild creasing. I don't think you can tell on camera. But like that one single crease I have over here, slightly the concealer has sunken in. But that's because every concealer does that for me. That line is very deep. Uh, the smile lines and the nose is something I'm not liking as of now and I'm scared that as the day progresses it's gonna get worse because of how thick this concealer is it's sinking into these lines it's like rubbed off from my nose slightly when I was like dabbing in the last and when I went in the mirror and looked up close after the complete blending of the makeup it's slightly rubbed off from my nose and that is a problem with thicker concealers in my case I don't know if it happens to other people but for me it definitely happens when I use very thick concealers this happens to me the LA Girl concealers that's why my favorite because it's very lightweight so it blends very easily in all of these regions let's see let's see how the day progresses I will update you all I'm just going out for lunch mostly by 5 6 o'clock now it's like 1 o'clock for now this is it I will see you in some time Okay guys, I know I'm in a very awkward position but this is like the best lighting position in my room. So as you can tell my under eyes look flawless even now. I love the way this has held up underneath the eyes. It's 7 o'clock so it's 6 hours later. Somebody who has serious dark circle issues, this is going to be your light savior. Uh, underneath the eyes it is looking flawless. I don't like how it is on my nose if you can probably tell. It's rubbed off and collected very slightly in the nose region and has sunken in my uh, smile light it's not that bad very very up close you can tell but nobody's coming that close to my face so I think in photos and all I went out for lunch the photography was amazing fudge yeah so um, that's about it I think somebody who wants concealer only for the under eyes you're going to love it but somebody who wants it for highlighting like me um, you can use it I think I'm gonna play around more with it I'm going to try using lesser product and uh, not putting so much powder on it fudge uh, and uh, let's see how it goes from there I will try to update you all first impressions I really like this concealer love the coverage of it love the shade range big thumbs up even the price is just right uh, so I do recommend it I highly recommend it I will play around more with it and see how can I work it in these re region okay guys so I will see you in my next video I'm sorry for this very informal uh, end but uh, I'm not going to set up my entire camera setup again and the lighting outside has like totally gone so I will see you in my next video uh, bye for now uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here click on the bell icon I promise not every video has such an informal end where my dog is biting me and I'm lying down on my bed uh, but subscribe to my channel if you like this video and the others hit the like button comment below and let me know what do you think about this concealer and I will see you in my next video bye guys love y'all